On the coast of San Diego lies an ecological reserve with a surprising abundance of aquatic life. From its dense kelp forest and small, bright orange Garibaldi fish to the large, energetic, frolicking sea lion population. Friendly leopard sharks that congregate here every summer and even up the food chain to the largest of apex predators. All the while, humans work, play and live alongside this amazing ecosystem. We live in a delicate balance, one constantly at risk of being tipped. Ultimately, these animals have been living here long before we arrived and it's up to us to understand and protect them. The biggest draw at La Jolla Cove is its population of rambunctious residents. You'll hear them and probably smell them before you see them. California sea lions. They had all but disappeared from the 1930s to the 70s due to the building of the sea walls, hunting and increased human presence. With the signing of the Marine Mammal Protection Act of 1972, they began making a comeback. By 1993, they were hauling out on the rocks and beaches in large numbers, and now is one of few places sea lions and humans regularly interact in such close proximity. While mostly friendly, curious members of both species can occasionally get too close. Two big male sea lions started clearing people out at the very busy La Jolla Cove. You see how many people are there, some with their umbrellas. Well, uh, those sea lions were not having it, so there you go. California sea lions pup in the summer months. And this is the best time to see the heartwarming interactions. Male sea lions can be identified by their larger size and the bump on their head known as a sagittal <laughs> They're also usually the loudest ones. They are quite territorial and maintain a harem of up to 30 females. Blowing bubbles underwater, barking and circling are a sign you are probably too close. Observing these animals underwater can be a fascinating experience. They zip around with ease at speeds from 25 to 30 miles per hour, showcasing an agility we could only dream of. Summer in La Jolla also offers another amazing opportunity for marine life viewing. Right in the shallows of La Jolla Shores Beach is the largest aggregation of leopard sharks in the world. While these sharks are present year-round, they reach their largest numbers between mid-June and December as they breed and bear their young, 15 to 20 pups in a litter. They can reach five feet in length on average and subsist on a diet of bottom dwellers like crustaceans and bony fish. Being harmless to humans, the feeling of swimming through a school of these beautiful creatures is a sublime experience. Because of their keen senses, you can often find them in larger numbers in murky water. Emerging from the dark, then darting out of sight just as quickly.
For humans, California coastal life is all about the beach and fun in the sun. But just a few hundred feet offshore lurks one of the ocean's top predators. The great white shark. Changes in climate and ocean temperature have been altering the behavior of many species. And this may be the case for the great white sharks. Most of the ones spotted near shore have been juveniles, perhaps looking for a snack, but with so many cases of them seen near surfers and swimmers, and so few attacks were clearly not on the menu. Great white sharks are a solitary animal especially as adults, but juveniles like these have been known to maintain the company of groups, or at least pairs. Together, but not too close. While their media coverage hasn't been favourable, it's still a beautiful sight to see one of these magnificent animals calmly cruising the sea. It's clear that even in the most populated areas, there's a whole world of life right in our backyard. We share this planet with many species and through education and understanding, we can all learn to thrive together. The origins of the name Hoya are not fully known, but it sounds similar to the Spanish word for Jew. And fittingly so, La Jolla is certainly a jewel of the coast. <laughs>